Welcome back to the Super Data Science series on how to make a chatbot. This is part six, results. Now, in the last video, we went over our analysis. We got everything basically set up and we examined our iteration where we would be making print statements, you know, our validation batch size. And I discussed that, you know, we changed a, a value just so it would run one iteration just to cut down on training time. All right. so. As we see, we ran, we trained through our, our results. We have you know a little bit of a loss. Um, our box, we see how many training steps it take. It is a large set of data, so you know I'm gonna take a little bit of time to train it. I, I highly recommend training in higher iterations to, to examine the results, but for the purpose of this series, we're gonna take a look at the results here. And as we scroll through our text, our, our results, you know, you're gonna see some messages that we had in our print statements that were, you know, test with the temperature of 1.0. We have tests with a temperature of 0.5. One quick piece of information about that is that the lower the temperature, the more likely that the LSTM or our sequence to sequence generator, the higher the probability that it will take the most likely value out of the network. And as you see, you know, our results right now may not be the most accurate. They might not be spitting out, you know, the perfect Shakespearean, perfect sentences. But as you can see, we do have, we haven't trained on that specific set of data. So there's a few things that you can do. And we're just going to start by talking about one is training it over more iterations, increasing values such as epoch, um, accuracy score, you can generate more layers. And I highly recommend that you do it and test out the accuracy and run a comparison. You can also take a look at into um, saving preloaded models, or you could save your model. Um, just take a look at the TF Learn documentation if you want to get further into that. But the takeaway is that you have built a LSTM, sequence to sequence, a chatbot. You, know, you have trained it on this data and you have this model saved. So eventually you could hook it up, say, to uh, a website. You know, if you're working on the front end, back end, you can integrate it where a person can give it a command and it's going to answer with your pre-trained text. Uh, ideally, you want the text to be a little more accurate and that's just going to be going through more training. You can see that the ease with the technologies that we're working with where you can set this up, it, it makes it so much quicker. It makes it so much easier to take a piece of data. Um, you could search, again, you could search the web, uh, download textual data packages and pass them in and try it on your own. Now, this is uh, this is what makes you know TF Learn uh, such a valuable tool to use in building a chatbot. Now you can take this further, you know, get you have your data, your machine already you can add some functionality. I highly encourage you to explore some NLTK, natural language processing methodologies to, you know, maybe putting it, uh, there's some great projects online. You can take a look at examples, you know, maybe you'll be able to put your chatbot online and be able to interact with it and have it generate Shakespeare statements when you talk to it. Now, in the next video, we're gonna go over some ideas, some methods and overall information for you to improve your chatbot and possible future uh, builds, you know, what you can do with it. You have the main body, and you have your trained data, and you know, you're ready to, to progress. You're ready to, you know, take your chatbot to where you want. But the main takeaway is that you have uh, successfully built a recurrent neural net that trains you by using LSTM and sequence to sequence modeling that, that is generating responses or generating a package file that you can use to run your answers that you can use in the future. So in the next video, we'll uh, discuss it further. As always, please subscribe to the Super Data Science channel where you get up-to-date information weekly. Please comment, share, like the video, and post any questions that you may have. And we'll see you in the next video.